you've probably noticed that I've been a little bit quiet both here and on my socials. And that's because there has been some monumental changes going on in my life that have been pretty much taking up every waking moment of my day. So let's cut to the chase. You've seen the title and no, it's not clickbait. Yes, I have officially moved out of California. Let's go round again, let's go round again, baby. Let's turn back the hands of time. One more time, one more time, one more time. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. If you're an OG subscriber, you may remember me talking about how I'd always wanted to move to California ever since watching the TV show, The O.C., all the way back in 2004. Welcome to the O.C., bitch. <laughs> you know what I like about rich kids. <laughs> Nothing. At the time I was 15 years old and all that sunny weather, the palm trees, the golden sandy beaches just captivated me. And the girls were pretty hot too. And I knew one day I'd have to tick it off my bucket list. And after the inevitable twists and turns of life, I did end up making it happen in 2016. I actually moved to Venice Beach first, having spent the previous summer out there, and I immediately fell in love with the Southern California lifestyle. So after three years in LA, I slowly made my way down south, and my first stop was Hermosa Beach, which I subsequently found out was where they shot a lot of season one of the OC. And it was really weird because when I lived at the beach in Venice, I would ride my bike down the bike path to Hermosa for like little day trips. And there was always this feeling of this, this something that just resonated with me about Hermosa. And it wasn't until I rewatched the OC while I was sitting on my couch in Hermosa that it dawned on me that I had subconsciously moved to the exact spot where the show was filmed. It's kind of funny how your brain holds onto things even if you're not consciously aware of it. Anyway, I loved Hermosa and I would still move back there. Shout out to the Tower 12 crew if my life took that path but I ended up in Newport Beach about four years ago in search of a bigger place and to finally realize my teenage goal of living in the OC. Now, California has been incredibly kind to me over the past, geez, almost a decade. And I've had so many opportunities that I just simply wouldn't have had back in the UK. Now, it was an incredibly difficult decision to move my whole life to the other side of the world. And there's definitely still the downsides, like not being able to spend as much time with my family and my friends as I would like. But oftentimes in life, you have to take the more difficult path to get to where you wanna be. And you just have to overcome the obstacles that you face along the way. Now, I'd say Newport Beach is where I've grown the most since I moved to America eight years ago. And it's where I finally I finally felt like I had my feet under me and had really built up my life and career to a point that surpassed what I had got back in the UK. So for those of you who don't know, before I went full-time with the content creation, I was actually a commercial advertising photographer and I would shoot big global ad campaigns for brands around the world. So I did have a proper job once upon a time. Now I've been on so many epic adventures since living in California. And even though I have now moved, I'll definitely be going back there to film. So don't panic, you've not seen the last of the Doll Friends or Catalina Island on the channel. I promise you, but in business to be successful, you've got to see growth. And honestly, over the last 18 months or so, I've really wanted to create more. And I felt like I kind of hit a ceiling living where I lived. Now, during COVID, I started my podcast and I absolutely loved it. But once things started to open up again, and I didn't really find the time to keep recording the episodes. Plus, I really wanted to build out a little studio that was much more visually appealing than just doing Zoom calls from my office. And I also wanted a dedicated shooting space where I could film more varied content and have all of my kits set up rather than having to use my office, which was also my spare bedroom, and then having to convert it into a studio and then back to my office and then back to a spare room when somebody came to stay. I'd like to shoot things like reacting to stuff that's just going on in my world, whether that's a new CDU model that's gotten released and my thoughts on it, or some crazy new off-grid tech for my truck, or even just product reviews. Obviously, I use a lot of gear in my day-to-day -day life and my adventures, and I would love to share my thoughts on the various bits of kit that I use, because I know that I would look for the opinion of somebody who pressure tests their gear the way that I do. And obviously, now that I've got the K truck, like you saw last week, I want to get more hands-on and do more build projects with my own space where I can fill. So I started looking around for a warehouse or a unit in OC, and it was going to be at least three grand a month to get something that would be suitable. And on top of that, I was also paying my rent for my apartment, which was more than that. So it just wasn't a smart allocation of funds. And then I remembered that last summer, while I was exploring the Colorado River, I came across these RV condos out in Lake Havasu, which were basically huge warehouses that you could rent, where people were storing their boats and their RVs. But some people were also in storing showers and bars and living rooms 
rooms where they could go and hang out after a day on the water. And then one day a meme popped up on my Instagram that was this house with a huge RV garage on the side, plus a double garage, and then what looked like a little teeny tiny house next to it. And everybody in the comments was like, oh, that's just a typical Havasu house. And so I was like, well, let me see what's for rent in Havasu then, because that looks awesome. And to my surprise, I found a house that looked almost exactly like that one in the meme. So it turns out the meme's true. And that got me thinking, well, what if instead of renting a house and then renting a commercial space, I just rent a house with a huge shop on the side that I could turn into my dream studio. And then it would allow me to shoot all the new content I've been wanting to do back in Newport. Plus there's all the other added benefits of living in Arizona, like lower taxes, cheaper fuel, being able to drive side-by-sides on the street, being surrounded by BLM land, where you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. And then obviously there's the proximity to the Colorado River, which I fell in love with last year, exploring over a thousand miles of it. So yeah, I moved to Havasu and honestly, I could not be happier about it. It was definitely a bittersweet feeling leaving California after all this time, but just because I don't live there anymore doesn't mean that I can't just hop in the truck and be back out there in four hours. And I intend on doing that a lot, honestly. Now I'm still getting the new place dialed in, so things may be up in the air for a few more weeks, but I just wanted to come on and let you know that there are big things coming and I'm so pumped for this new adventure. So I'll keep you updated as much as I can and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook for day-to-day -day updates that may not make it here to the YouTube channel. And I've also got some new toys coming, which I can't reveal for a few weeks, but let's just say we're going to switch up the content a little bit this summer, just because we can, am. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's happening with me, where the channel is heading. And seriously, I cannot thank you enough for all of the support over the last five years. And I absolutely love the community that we've built here. I see you guys in the comments, not just showing you support for me and what I do, but also for each other. And I just love it so much. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for supporting this bloody madness that I get to call my job. And let's make 2024 an absolute banger. So please hit that subscribe button, follow me on all the socials, tell your friends about the channel, and most importantly, remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya. Sweet.